Hi, I am Ryan Brummel, and this is a video explaining how to play a math game that I created called Variable Kings. I created this game and designed it for my Honors Algebra 8th grade classroom because they've done lots of work with linear equations so far this year. Variable Kings is a game played um, with four to six players, which would be two to three people on each team. The age range for this game is eighth grade and up. It takes about um, 15 to 20 minutes uh, to play, and the only materials that is needed to play this game is a deck of cards and the rules to play the game. The goal of this game is for players to work on solving one-step linear equations. This game also, also works on multiplication facts. The players will be using lots and lots of mental math in this game. And the goal of the game is to create the highest solution or output for a one-step equation um, that is given to win variables. The goal is to collect more variable cards than the other team. To set up the game, separate the deck of cards into two piles. One will be the variable pile, which is made up of kings and queens in the deck. The other pile is the number card deck, which is made up of all the rest of the cards. Teams will sit across from each other and draw eight cards into their hand and put them face up on the table in front of them so everyone on their team can see them. The equation you are solving is set up in the middle of the table as shown in the picture here. The variable pile and number cards are set up in this format. A card from the variable pile is flipped over and placed face up on top of that pile like the king is in this picture. Two cards from the number card deck are flipped over on either side of the variable to, cre to create the linear equation. The example here would read like an equation as 3x plus 7 equals, where the king is the x variable, the 3 is the coefficient, the 7 is the constant, and the deck of number cards is used as the equal sign. Each team, using their cards from their hand, must play a card that would substitute in for the variable and play a card or cards that could be used as the answer to make that equation true. When a team has the cards they want to play, they place them in the spot near the equation that they would go. For example, the equation on this slide shows 3x plus 7 equals, and the team used an 8 as a substitute for the x variable and a 3 and a 1, which makes 31 as the solution to the equation. This would be a valid solution because 3 times 8 plus 7 equals 31. The highest output or solution played by either team to solve the equation wins the round and takes the variable card that was face up. The variable card that was face up that the team won counts as one point towards the final total when the game is over. At the end of the round, the cards that have, the cards that have been played by each team the coefficient card and the constant card are discarded and set to the side to eventually be shuffled to the bottom of the number card deck when there are no longer any cards to draw. So rules of the game. Card values. So cards 2 through 10 are worth their face value. Aces are worth 1s and jacks are wild that can be used as any number 0 through 10 when substituting them in for a variable or as the answer. Jacks in an equation. If a jack is placed into the equation somewhere, a card must also be submitted in for that jack. And the winner of that round gets the variable and they get to keep the jack, which makes that round worth two points. There'll be an example of that um, following. Um, if there's no solution, if a team doesn't have cards to make a valid solution for the linear equation, um, the other team would get the variable card and win the point and win the round, but the team that didn't have a solution may discard as many cards as they would like and draw back up to eight. This is particularly particularly useful if you have lo uh, lots of doubles or even if you have three numbers um, that are the same. For ties, if the round is a tie, um, the played cards are all discarded and a new equation is made, and a second variable card is flipped up onto the equation. So the winner of that round would then get two variable cards, which makes that round worth double the points. 
The game ends when all variable cards have been won. So there are four kings, four queens. So when all eight of the variable cards have been used up and won, the teams count up their points and the most points win. In the case of a tie, you take all the variable cards that have been won, you set them all back in the middle for one more sudden death round where the winner takes all. Following this will be an example of a couple rounds of this game to give you the gist of how the game works. So in this video, there is only one person on each team, um, but no, it's probably a good idea to have two on each team, two or three, um, just so that it gives students who maybe are not as quick or players who are not as quick with math facts um, just another kind of set of eyes looking at them. So this is me setting up the first equation. Um, there's a queen that gets flipped up onto the variable pile, and then I take two cards from the um, number card deck and set them to create to create the first equation that we were trying to solve for, which would be 3x plus 7. We have 3x plus 7. And then 34. So I have 3 times 8 plus 7 equals 31. 3 times 9 is 27 plus 4 is 34 equals 34. Yep, so that would be yours, so you can take your variable. So my dad, who is currently on the left, won the variable card for that round, so then we both draw back up to eight cards. Yep. Perfect. And then what I will do is... So here I put a jack in for the constant because I wanted to give an example of what a jack would look like when we have it in our equation. So I did that and then I put the 10 in front as the coefficient of the variable and then I flipped the variable card over. So that now gives us a 10x plus a wild card equals something. So for this equation we have to put a card in for both the variable which is the king and we have to put a number in for the jack and the solution for this one. And the winner of this will get both the king and the jack, which will count for two points. Plus, this 10 will probably make it tough. Because we need an Ohio one. 10 times. So I think you have to have two doubles here. Times seven is seventy. I gotta put a card in here too. Yep. Seventy eight equals seventy eight. Yep, so I have ten times nine plus six is ninety six. Ten times seven is seventy plus eight is seventy eight. Seventy eight. Good. So then I have ninety six yep. bigger than seventy eight, so then I will get the king and the jack. So that will be two, two points for, for this round. Gotcha. And then we will swipe. And then we would continue until all these variable cards are done. And then we would count up the number of cards that we have at the end. And whoever has the most points at the end would be the winner. Perfect.